What's up, everybody? It's Real Deal Neil. It is the 24th of January. And before we get started on this special Bronco Raptor edition release today, I must admit and tell you guys one more time that Mr. Willie Man is rocking just took place of the Georgia Bulldogs winning the national championship. I shouldn't say rare because we're coming back for more, y'all. Don't get it twisted. And the Atlanta Braves are your 2021 World Series champs. How epic is that? Now back to the show. Today is talking about the release at 6 o'clock this morning. I have no idea why Ford chose for 6 a.m. Eastern time. But nonetheless, we have more info on the Ford Bronco Raptor. It is a vehicle that did not skip a leg day. I must admit, I'm so impressed with what they're offering uh, in a vehicle that's already been so impressive. The wife and I have been spending time in our Wild Track Sasquatch now for about uh, a month and it's been phenomenal. We got rid of our expedition, and it's been a great compliment to our uh, Raptor family as well as, as the side-by-side action that we have. It feels a lot like that Can-Am side-by-side, very agile and sporty and fun. The biggest thing, guys and gals, is the Raptor Bronco is going to be just like the Raptor and the regular Bronco fun. It's just even more magnified. So uh, great information that they finally released to us today. A 400 horsepower rock crawler, do all you want to, fun haver as the wife likes to call it. So let's dive right in to more info. Base price starts at $69,995 and we're going to dive right into the tire suspension, etc. So the, the biggest portion to me that makes a huge difference on the Raptor as well as now the Bronco Raptor is all that clearance and suspension travel galore. So essentially you've got uh, a new system where as the Raptor had 35 inch tires as your standard base option, the Bronco Raptor goes right to it with 37, 12 and a half, 17 BFG KO2s uh, with a wider 8.6 inch wider track. Uh, there's essentially over 85 inches between the Raptor's fenders, making it almost as wide as uh, the Raptor width. So it does gonna have those markers in the grill and side markers to notate that make it DOT uh, regulation approved to where it's just a wide vehicle. So I'm excited to see a wider track in the Bronco Raptor to where just your capability and confidence is gonna be greatly improved. Your uh, approach and departure angles because you're on 37s is gonna be greatly improved as well off the rip. Um, increasing that angles from 3.5 to 4.5 degrees, which is another another great thing there. The 37 inch tires um, they have a that's a variety of challenges there from Ford. So essentially, you got to do a a beefier spare tire carrier out back, and then just to accommodate that, they've got Dana 44 up front and Dana 50 rear axles with a 235 millimeter ring gear. So they definitely are looking at all avenues to make sure that they've got this bad boy buttoned up to where it's going to be a reliable source rolling on 37s. What we think about lot two while with these when we're incorporating larger uh, with entire combos on any vehicle is all the gears going to handle it, all the axles going to handle it. So an important part there. Uh, coming over is the exact same 3.1 inch uh, improved Fox factory uh, shocks, the exact same diameter and setup as the current Gen 3 Raptor. So I'm excited to see about that, man. And 13 inches up front of overall travel and 14 in the rear, which is just like the Raptor uh, F-150. I cannot wait to get my hands on a Raptor Bronco and see all that articulation and travel. I can't wait to drive it because the wild track with the, uh, the Hall system is phenomenal to me. I love it. Uh, the way it sits. It has that Raptor vibe and feel to it. I love the articulation and how comfortable of a drive it is. Plus the power in the 2.7 liter is no slouch either. But we're going up to a four liter twin turbo uh, V6 setup. It's gonna be you know in the 400 horsepower range. So they're definitely uh, feeding into the more power plant that we so desire just like the Raptor has. No V8, but of course you knew they weren't gonna have a V8 in this one essentially just because EcoBoost is their uh, motive when it comes to a power plant. Also a new Baja drive mode uh, joins the Bronco stable. There's several other settings that are unique to uh, the Bronco Raptor, and there's also a different exhaust mode. The Baja mode also gives you that dual exhaust electronically controlled valve that's just gonna be so glorious, I can't wait to hear that. And the transmission is gonna be a 10-speed automatic with unchanged gear ratio. The steel bumpers have 
uh, removable end caps on each end. So you've got more articulation, that modularity. And they're also, just like in the Gen 3 Raptor, they're going to have incorporate those SAE approved rigid lights in the front bumper as well. I love that. The tail lights out back, y'all, the lighting up front, the grill up front, how it now says Ford instead of Bronco. Just you know something's going on with that bad boy. But just the overall bulldog width of the new Bronco Raptor being so wide and those flares sticking out so much they just protrude out it's just a, such a wide vehicle i can't wait to see it in person but that's just a uh, overall beefy uh vehicle most of you let me know what you think about the fenders how they stick out the led tail lights being different do you like the overall width and how big and bulky those fenders are or would you like to be a little bit more subtle and and precise uh going towards the interior there's uh, a definite nod towards the raptor you've got the blue interior option uh, with the Alcantara suede all throughout. Here's some good images of that. Uh, a lot of you guys and gals didn't like that necessarily when it came to the Gen 3 Raptor 37 package. So let me know what you think about that. You also can get the uh, black interior. Um, I don't know if the seats are any different between the two. It looks like the, the blue may be a little bit more supportive and bolsterous. Uh, it just looks a little bit more premium with that blue interior, uh, honestly. But it all depends on what color on the exterior you get, whether this would make sense to you. Uh, or not. Also behind your um, where your helmet would be or where the, where the passenger or driver would be, there's a C pillar and B pillar cross member bar that goes across. Also that carbon fiber package is available on your different grab handles and other uh, areas. You can get uh, just more Raptor-like uh, amenities on the inside as well as the outside. Um, pricing is going to start, as I mentioned earlier, at $69.9, including destination charges. Uh, for comparison, like the uh, the 22 Raptor is 78, it's about 10 grand more, and then the Jeep or Wrangler Rubicon 392 is in that uh, mid to upper 70 range also. So some definite value here in the Bronco Raptor, and I just want to now talk about some of the aesthetic things throughout. So you know, on the headlights, you're not going to have an LED white daytime running light set up. It's going to be that amber, uh, just to notate a more off-road vehicle. And then just that big front skid plate on the front bumper just looks so beefy. And again, Raptorous. It's a Bronco Raptor, but definite has some shared components and thoughts and design from the Raptor trucks that we love so much, y'all. Look at the heat extractors on the top and the side. I love how big that is. It just looks so killer and rugged and beefy and, and almost, you know, intimidating. Um, love the way that looks, and we, we look to you know definitely do some modifications to these, hint, hint, in the future. As far as the orders go, anyone that has an existing Bronco order will be, can, can flip their um, order to this vehicle, if so choose, if allocations are available. They're going to start making this, this bad boy uh, here at the summer of 2022, so looking forward to and loving how Ford is pushing the envelope with more power, more fun, more performance, especially in a Bronco. So I feel so strong about the Bronco now after having some time and experience uh, of one personally that I know is so legit, y'all. And this Bronco edition is just going to be even better with the better suspension, um, new components on your on your front and rear suspension completely. It's going to be just a better Bronco. It's going to be a better off-road vehicle for us consumers. That's what it's all about, y'all. So uh, this video has been a quick one today. We just wanted to share some insights and thoughts from Real Deal's perspective on the Bronco Raptor. It's also been then notated the Warthog. So if you think about Halo, I grew up playing Halo a lot. It, it shares a lot of similarities of the Warthog that they, the the vehicle that that Master Chief drove a lot. So this has got to be totally epic. It's sharing the Warthog name from Halo and the Raptor name, you know it's got to be legit. So we're very excited about that. And you know we are your source, Aikens Ford and Wild Willys, custom accessories in Winder, Georgia, bringing you everything automotive. I don't get to do these type of videos near as often, so it's, it's kind of makeshift and it was quick because we got a lot of stuff to do today, y'all. But hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you like this more intimate video where I'm in my office and I've Got Mr. Willie Man in here chilling with me. Let me know if you like this as, as much as or more than doing the out on the lot videos also. If you have any more questions about this vehicle, let me let me know. I'm sure I probably forget some, forgot something in this video. I didn't really have any notes for it, just what I had read 
and been uh, keeping up to speed with. But once the information came out this morning, I wanted to absorb it as quick as possible and get it to, to you great guys and gals. Um, just an overall better vehicle. The screen is an LCD screen in, in the center stack. I noticed that as well. But just a lot of subtleties of a vehicle that is going to just make uh, the Ford name grow even more, y'all. I'm Real Deal Neil. Thanks so much for watching. Go dogs, go Braves, and go Bronco.